He just said, take as long as you want. Did I understand that right? <laughs> um, no, well, I, I was told before that I had more than five minutes time. That's tr that much is true, um, but I'm trying to be brief um, because uh, I think there are two people after me. So okay, uh, yeah. Um, another extension that didn't make it into the extension showcase yesterday, but uh, anyhow. Um, well, it's about donation receipts. Um, for German purposes, uh, primarily, but if you also live in a country with, um, well, I was going to make a little quiz with you, but um, I'm gonna skip that one. We have two options. Do you think German tax authorities are like, relaxed, not overly precise, and generally avoid formalities, if that's possible, or um, more like that? Uh, okay, I, I was, <laughs> I was then going to uh, tell you that uh, this also affects the nonprofit world and uh, especially um, the key process of issuing donation receipts because um, uh, that's again a serious topic. Uh, many organizations are quite afraid to, uh, to um, produce any errors in that process, for example, issuing um, a receipt for one donation twice. For example, um, you receive it uh, during the year, um, then uh, change the data for the donation, and then happen to, uh, to um, issue the receipt a second time because you have uh, altered the, the um, received date for the donation. Would be could be a bad mistake. In the worst case, um, could even lead to uh, uh, putting at risk your charity status. Would be an extreme case, but uh, um, and I know of organizations that are really afraid of such a scenario. So um, that means, of course, that CVCRM users need a solid and reliable solution to handle uh, this. A uh, crucial task, and um, yeah, uh, there is one at least, um, at last, that's correct. Um, and there was uh, actually a qu quite promising um, initiative within the German, uh, small but growing German CVCRM community. Uh, seven organizations formed a consortium and commissioned the development of a new solution um, for uh, donation receipts. Um, it has been in productive use and is about to be released soon. So that's why I'm talking about it here. And now let's see. Um, Sorry to start over with this again, but I need to see this on my screen as well. <laughs> kind of difficult to demo it if I have a black screen in front of me. I think. Yeah. No, yeah. Okay. Um, So what it does, um, it creates uh, some additional fields for, uh, for your donation um, or contribution, to be correct. Um, and um, you see a new tab in your, where's that cursor here? Um, in uh, the, the contact overview um, and you can see here that I have two contributions um, which are of different, uh, different types. One is donation, one is campaign contribution and that's important because um, donations are in this case oh. uh, 
um, are in this case um, deductible and uh, the other type is not. Okay, what I can do here, um, I can uh, create a donation receipt for a single contact. And, um, well, this is quite uh, self-explanatory, I think. I could also use uh, or choose a different, different date range. Um, and uh, then there's a lookup um, for donations that, that are eligible for uh, receipting. Um, I have a block of statistics here that's not that interesting for a single contact. We'll come to a uh, bulk creation in a minute. And then I have uh, different options. Again, um, I will leave that at uh, single receipts and individual PDFs for that single contact. I will now only make a test run, which is another little, uh, nice little feature. Um, so I can reuse my demo data later on. And um, well, for that single contact that's uh, quite quick, um, I have a little uh, log here and could now download my PDF file. And here's what the feared German uh, tax receipts for donations look like correctly. Okay, that was uh, easy, I think. Um, second option is to do it in bulk from a contact search result. Okay, not too many contacts in my demo installation here. Um, so I have a, a new uh, search result action here. And here, oh, what happened here? Uh, that's interesting. I had uh, begun a selection and um, receipting run beforehand, and that has been stored in a temporary table and um, the extension now detects there is a uh, still active um, selection in the background and ask me whether I want to delete it or keep on working with it. Why is that? Because um, in order to keep users from interfering with one another and corrupting the data or breaking their, um, their uh, selection and, and production <coughs> runs, um, the selected donation data is stored in a temporary table, uh, which is th then used to check if, um, if donation receipts are right now being processed. So that's why I'm being asked uh, how I want to deal with that unfinished run here. I could use that, but um, I'm going to continue and then I will be notified um, no, I was notified beforehand, sorry, <laughs> that uh, that snapshot table has been deleted. So, um, now, um, my statistics become a little more interesting. I have five contacts with, um, with eligible um, donations, um, overall uh, seven contributions, and so on and so on. Um, I'm go going to use uh, or produce bulk receipts now and use another feature here, individual PDF sorted by page count. And, okay, I will do that um, in productive mode now. Um, again, I can have a look at my progress log. And these are now um, grouped by page number. Um, why is that? Because you might want to um, hand that over to some, to some uh, letter shop or printing service that uh, needs them ordered by or grouped by page number. Let's have a look at that. And why do these have two pages now? So many donations? No. Um, because um, if there's more than one, it's important to have uh, an overview of every single donation on the second page of the donation receipt. 
and we can have that here. So everything's correct. And uh, we're almost done here. Um, what's interesting now, okay, uh, my contact here has got a donation receipt now. Um, and I can view that here from the contact view. I could create a copy. I could withdraw it here as well. I could delete it, which, is, um, which requires administrator permissions. Um, and one thing left that I would like to show now. Um, here's my donation that has been receded. And um, okay, I would now like to decide that uh, decide that it wasn't on the seventh, but on let's say that date. But that's not going to work because um, it would um, uh, would make my data that I've um, issued on the receipt incorrect. And so as long as my receipt exists in the system, I won't be able to alter that contribution. So to alter the contribution data, I would f first have to withdraw um, the receipt, which is, uh, yeah, um, I think within the German tax legislation as, uh, as required. So everything's fine here. Um, so if you live in a country um, where tax authorities are more like option B and um, you think you can make use of such an, such an extension, it's, it works with a template that is editable. Um, maybe that will do for you. If, uh, if not, or if you have any questions about it, just ask us. France, for example. <laughs> for recurring donations, do you have a global uh, donation receipt for 2015? Um, sorry, I, uh, maybe a little louder. Recurring donations, do you have a global receipt for the fiscal year? Um, yeah, you could. <laughs> Um, you can use that uh, during the year, for example, or which would be a realistic scenario, that you um, can uh, use it during the year to make single or to issue single receipts for donors who, uh, who uh, request that, or maybe uh, top donors who, who you want to serve immediately. And then uh, at the end of the year or in January, you could uh, run uh, a global selection and, uh, and production um, to, uh, to serve all the rest. And of course, those that have already been receded wouldn't be selected again. Well, Does the, that idea, so the idea is like, for example, if you give 10, 10 bucks each month, you have a global receipt of 120 bucks at the end of the And that would, would be like the, the two page. Um, uh, type where you have um, on the on the first page uh, the, the global <laughs> amount on the second page um, um, like a, a list of all the single payments okay so any more one more question. a really quick one are you, can you only have one template or could you put multiple templates so we have donors from lots of different countries so to have like you know a German template French template Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, that's one future development that uh, we would really like to see as well. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I skipped that slide. Uh, I, I just realized uh, that's one future development that would would really be, be great. And the other one would be um, to to be able to uh, or to, to have a um, search result action from uh, contribution search as well. Right now, it's only from contact search. Okay, but uh, yeah, maybe in the future, who knows? Thank you.